Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a social media graphic. So a lot of you here are probably coming from my 30 days to a kick butt Etsy shop workbook or the series or the course that I've done on my YouTube channel. Hello, welcome. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a graphic. Now, for those of you that are coming from that course, um, this is gonna be for your launch of your Etsy shop. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Those of you who are watching that have no idea what I'm talking about, I will list it in the description box below. It's a free course that I do basically showing you how to make an Etsy shop that is primed to make sales. So let's get into it. So obviously this largely, largely depends on, you know, what uh, social media channel you're gonna make your graphic for. So we've got Facebook, we've got Instagram, we have Pinterest, all those types of things. So for the purposes of today, we're gonna to be doing a Facebook post, okay? So you click that, it makes a nice handy dandy little plain box here that is already all done with the uh, specific sizes that you need. So if you're new to Canva, it's so easy and it's so amazing to use. I use it every day and it is just, it's just amazing. It's just so, so good. So this is the main menu down here on the left-hand side. Here you have templates. So you scroll down, you have all these wonderfully already made templates. Now don't worry, you can absolutely change these. So if you see one that you like, say that one, you can definitely do that. Click on it and you can totally change it. Now, if you get these hatched lines here, that, that, that just means that um, this is a paid graphic. So by all means, you can remove that and just have this nice little bit here. You can also change the sizes and the colors of any of the things that you see, all the elements rather, on these templates. Click to photos, you can uh, search photos, anything that you kind of want really. So for a Facebook post, um, for the purposes of this demonstration, it's just gonna be announcing that your shop is opening. So let's say for example that you sell art um you kind of want a nice little maybe now guys if you see free when you hover over it that's free to use if you see that this little crown that says pro that's a paid thing paid photo rather so if you're wanting to to you know get a photo for free you absolutely can so i'm going to use that one i'm going to click and drag it make that white space a bit bigger because I actually, there we go. I actually, oh, I did not mean to do that. I actually want to use that, there we go. So it's not, it's not in the middle. If in doubt, guys, on Canva, if you kind of do that and you're, and you're like, I can't move it, double click, it always brings it up. So right away, that looks like quite a nice Facebook graphic. So I'm quite pleased with that as it is. We've only gone through the two sections of the menu here. You have elements here as well, so you can put in clip art, grids for photographs. Let's say I wanted to, wanted to put in a product photo. Um, I could sort of do that there and I could literally just click and drag my own photos in there. You have a movable uh, animated clip art. Obviously that won't come out um, on your Facebook post, I don't think, but by all means have a play. Shapes, gradients, lines, illustrations, social media icons. Literally, the world is your oyster. So let's say you wanted, you know, you wanted something like that, maybe. You could totally put that in there. Obviously, don't overcomplicate your uh, Facebook graphics and, you know, graphics for all social medias. You want it to catch their eye, but not, you know, bomb bombard them with colours. And especially with this photograph in the background here, it's quite a lot of colours. So maybe let's just keep it relatively plain. You can obviously input text and things here. Again, they've got text templates and things like that, but you can input your own text, make it bigger, make it smaller, change the font. There's hundreds of fonts, guys. You'll be here all day scrolling through them all. Um, and you can change the, let me move that so you can see. So you can change the colors of the fonts, all that type of thing here, make it italic, change the alignment, uppercase, lowercase, spacing. You can make it really big or really compacted. And yeah, essentially you can have a good little play with the text. You can change the background image here as well. So you just click and drag that onto your um, il illustration and yeah, essentially change the background. You can upload your own photos as, as well, to just ignore my face here. Um, and you can sort them into folders. So just by doing this, I think we created quite an attractive little graphic. I'll get rid of that. I'll make sure to align this. The great thing about Canva is that when you move things, it comes up with this little line. It tells you where the center is, which is nice and handy. 
So we can do that there like that. That wants to be in the middle like that. So let, let's say for example that I want a nice little black kind of paintbrush up here. I can totally do that. Let's go onto that. Now I know this is coloured and I get that but don't worry because Canva lets you change so much. So I'm going to make it completely black um, as like a paintbrush silhouette. So I click on each one of these which each represents one of the colours that's in the paintbrush. And there you have it. I've made a paintbrush silhouette in less than 10 seconds. So uh, let's just call our, our Etsy shop the paint box. Okay. Um, open opening March the 4th. Not the 4th, 5th, the 4th. <laughs> there you go. So, you, so you, you can kind of see that just by doing that, I've made a really attractive graphic that looks professional. Um, by all means, put your own um, shop name when you're opening, all that type of thing in this box here, or you know whatever yours looks like. You go up here, um, you can publish it straight to your Facebook page. However, if you are scheduling it in, I would definitely just click download. Now you've got all these options here. I would always go for PNG because the, the graphics themselves come out really high quality. Click download and there you have it. You have just made a free Facebook post, okay? There you go. It's all saved onto your computer. All you have to do is upload that to Facebook when you're ready or put it in a scheduler. So guys, I hope this was helpful to you. Um, yeah, enjoy making your graphics and I shall see you soon. Bye.